Hello, my name is Rachel and I love playing with makeup and oh my goodness. So last night I recorded several videos and once again I didn't have any sound. I, I, did, I was in the habit of after every video checking my sound but I hadn't had any problems in a long while so I got way too confident and then just recorded a bunch in a row and none of them had sound. <laughs> So I'm refilming <laughs> and uh, today's video is me trying the Eloise Queen palette. Now since I can no longer say trying Eloise Queen palette for the first time because this will actually be the second time <laughs> I thought we would try something a little different and I would attempt a chatty get ready with me. And I know I've done the trying for the first time for a second time, but let's do something different today. <laughs> but here are the colors in this palette and it's absolutely gorgeous. And we'll start by swatching. We're not gonna swatch the whole palette. Uh, we're gonna swatch five mattes and five shimmers. So here are the first, or the five matte colors. And they are Empress, Majesty, Elizabeth, Anima, and Regal. And they are really pretty, but they do take some building up. I did have to do a couple of swipes over each swatch to get them to this color, but they do build nicely. So, and here are the five shimmer colors. And these are Jewels, Queen, Your Highness, Monarch, and Sovereign. And I don't know if you can tell, but this one right here, Monarch, is a pink gold duochrome. And all of these, I think, are absolutely gorgeous. And I, I used Queen in the look that I put together yesterday, and I really liked it. But today I am going to do a different look so I can use some of the other colors. So those are some examples of the colors in this palette. Super pretty colors. I, I did really enjoy using it yesterday. I'm sure that I will enjoy using it again today. But first, we are going to start with my favorite Illamasqua primer. I got this in a Ipsy and I just really like this primer. I'm almost out, however, but that's okay because uh, BoxyCharm sent me a new primer I'm really excited to try that's a similar concept of a pot with a little spoon but that one's not a clear gel like this one is. <laughs> and next we'll start on the eyes. As usual, of course, I'll just do the one eye on camera and then go off camera to do the other eye. It's already probably gonna be a long video and I don't want you guys to have to be here forever. <laughs> but I'm sure, I'm sure you noticed that there's now ads on my videos. So I, I just recently got monetized and um, if you saw my 1200 subscriber thank you you might remember that I was only 300 hours away from being monetized and well we did it like I guess this is only what two months later and I got it got those hours and I got approved for monetization and just want to thank you guys so much because obviously I couldn't have done it without all of you uh, but I oh guess let's let's start on the eyes now I'm going to put on my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. And then I'm going to add tape. I didn't grab the tape I normally use, so I found this Halloween tape, washi tape. Hopefully it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> still, it's old. Hopefully it still has some stick to it. So far, so good. So I'm really hoping that I can get my vaccination soon. I signed up with the state's website. I know there's some stuff I can be doing to more actively also pursue it, but I'm I'm really low risk. I get to work from home. You know, I don't live with anyone. I don't leave the house often except for grocery shopping. So I'm, I don't wanna like step in front of the line of someone who actually is working a public facing job. So I'm waiting for the, the state to call me for my turn. I'm looking forward to that so I can actually maybe go back out into the world again. I feel like I've just gotten way too comfortable with not leaving the house. It's, 
kind of scary how comfortable I am with not leaving the house. <sighs> but I'm hoping, I'm hoping if I can get vaccinated by June, I can go spend my birthday in New Orleans with some friends of mine who I spent my 42nd birthday with them and my 46th birthday with them and we just always have the best time and that would just be an amazing way to spend my 48th birthday. But that just that, that depends on whether or not we all get vaccinated by June. And I'm definitely hoping we're all vaccinated by September because that's when the Gothic cruises and I really want to go on the Gothic cruise because I skipped 2019 because I had a bunch of other events around the same time and I couldn't justify taking all that time off of work and then of course 2020 came around and totally <laughs> blew blew those plans out of the water and it was postponed till this year 2021 and at this point they're still going but I'm gonna wait until like, I don't know, July before I decide whether or not I'm going to book because of course I wanna make sure I'm vaccinated and make sure that the world hasn't taken some other terrible serious turn. <laughs> but what are your all's plans um, once everyone hopefully is vaccinated and we can get back to at least maybe a little bit of what we had before. But let me let me know down down in the comments below what 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 are you guys looking forward to what plans do you have i also have um dark side of the con because of course i was scheduled to vend there in 2020 and it got postponed like first they postponed it for like six months but then of course that couldn't happen either so they postponed it one more time but this time it's not until 2022 so i have that to look forward to in 2022 if nothing goes right this year and I can't do any of the things I'm looking forward to this year. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what events and, and things you're looking forward to if we can start going out again and living more normally and traveling again. <sighs> okay, back to this back to this makeup thing. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this color, She Bud. I'm just gonna put that down uh, to set my primer. And Sheba was just a matte, light brown color, as you can see. For the inside of my eye, I'm going to go with this blue here, Sovereign. And that is just a gorgeous color. And then for the outside of the eye, I'm going to go in with Your Highness, which is a coppery color. And where those two colors meet in the center, I'm going to go in with Monarch, that gold pink duochrome. And then under the brow bone, I'm going to go in with this Empire. And then I'm going to go into this dark blue throne and I'm going to just outline my colors. hope I'm not going out of frame every time I lean into my mirror. I guess if I cut a bunch of this process out, you'll know why. <laughs> I covered a bunch of Sovereign up with the throne, so I'm gonna go back in with Sovereign and reclaim a little of that space. Okay, so that's going to be for the it for the top of my eye. I'm going to go off camera, finish up the other eye, and then we'll come back and get started on the rest of the face. So I finished the eyes. Let's get this tape off. Uh, maybe a little too sticky. <laughs> Pulled on the skin a little much. So there was just a little bit of fallout. So, I, I don't know, if, have I ever talked about my job with you all before? Like, so I, it's a little convoluted. I work for the state of Virginia, but I'm, I work for a contract, I'm on a contract. So I work for a contract company and the contract is with Verizon and Verizon's contract is with the state of Virginia. <laughs> so I do work for the state of Virginia, take orders from Verizon and get paid by E+, my, I guess, temp contracting agency. 
And like when I got hired on this job, I knew it was a temporary contract, but I was initially hired with Northrop Grumman and they said it would be like uh, maybe five or six years left. Uh, but then Virginia wanted to end their contract with Northrop Grumman early. So then they hired SAIC to do the transition. And so for a while I worked for SAIC and then SAIC made us contractors with a different contracting company that I'm with now that was bought out by E+. Plus. <laughs> so I've had the exact same job for like four years, but like four different people have issued me paychecks for the exact same job. Uh, it's, it's kind of a mess. So next I'm going to actually put on another primer. I know I already primed, but I'm priming again. <laughs> And this is Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. Just a little mattifying silicone-ish primer. And then I'm going in with this Casos Tinted Face Oil. And I actually got this in a boxy charm that was an old box from October that I purchased in their pop-up sale. And the more I use it, the more I really like it. And so far I do like applying this with my fingertips best. I tried with a sponge and the sponge just absorbed way too much of it because it is a very thin liquidy product. Um, I haven't tried a brush, but my fingers work really well for that. So I'm just sticking with my fingers for that. And then I'm going to set that face oil with this Ciate London Watermelon Burst Face Powder. And it's just a translucent face powder. Yeah, so back back to the job thing. So so like I said, I, I've, I've been on a contract. I knew it was a temporary contract that could last up to a certain amount of time. It has been f about four years now and um, they are transferring the work out of my group over to a different Verizon group. So they are phasing my group out slowly. I work, as I'm sure I've mentioned a billion times, I work overnights. I work the 9.30 p.m. until 8 a.m. shift. Uh, it's Ten and a half hours, but technically it's ten hours because the half hour is lunch. And I've been really fortunate that since this whole pandemic began, they sent us home and have let us work work from home. So that's been pretty awesome. Uh, but like I said, the work is winding down. Actually, we were supposed the contract was supposed to end over a year ago, like not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before is when I was expecting it to end. And I'm still here. At this point, they're saying June. But every time they've given me a deadline, they've extended it another couple months. <laughs> but it's because, you know, the pandemic slowed everything down because they were transforming over the, the sites over to Verizon network equipment. And now it, it takes longer to get into these government buildings and to get all that set up and accomplished. So, so the job is winding down. I am going to eventually be unemployed. But I've been expecting this for a while and I have a plan in place. Uh, I really want to take a year and I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping <laughs> things are beginning to get back to normal by summer, fall. And, and I want to take a year off of real work. Although, you know, this is still going to be a lot of work. <laughs> and I want to do conventions and events like that and sell my chain and scale mail. <laughs> And yeah, you know, I, I I was doing that you know, obviously while working. I would still occasionally do events, uh, but I want to just do just that for a year. I just think that would be a lot of fun. And then I have some other plans in place for what to do next after that. But yeah, that's that's uh, again something else. I'm hoping. <laughs> I, need, I want my vaccine. I want to get back to some sense of normalcy. I want to be able to do all the fun things I enjoy doing again. And I hope by the time that we can, I'm not too used to not leaving the house and it become a unbreakable habit. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's, I mean, I feel like that's something that could happen. <laughs> I could suddenly never want to leave the house. <sighs> okay, so where are we next? Let's continue. I guess we'll finish up the eyes. I'm going to line the eye in that queen color.
And then the inside, I'm going to go in with that Monarch. And then inner corner, I'm going to go in with this My Lady. I really love all of the, the shimmer and, and metallic colors in this palette. That should be good for, for that. Now let's start on our face. And I'm talking about I want to, you know, start doing all those uh, events. Uh, and I haven't been, I haven't been producing my chain and scale mail like I should. Like I just haven't been motivated, inspired. I don't know, like a couple months ago, I guess now I, I had that haul of all those supplies. Well, other than making those few necklaces for my 1200 subscriber giveaway, I haven't really created anything new. <laughs> I've... Oh, well, that's not entirely true. As you guys know, I keep switching between hobbies. And uh, so with the uh, the resin, uh, you guys might have saw my resin bats, but look what I did with them. I made these adorable little pendants out of them. I put that one on a pink sparkly background and a black sparkly background. And I just think they are so cute. <laughs> so I guess I have, I have still been creating stuff, just not in the productive manner that I had been at one time before before 2020. I was being extremely productive. I mean, I, I, my thought process keeps going, you know, when they when they lay me off, I'll have all the free time in the world to make all that stuff. <laughs> but I still want to be, you know, innovating and creating now too. <sighs> um, next, I'm going to put on my contour and I have this Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced, this bronzer. I've had this for like four years, maybe five years. Still smells great. Still smells like chocolate. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep using it until it smells bad and it doesn't smell bad. I just really like the tone of this brown. I've had a couple other bronzers, but I just like this one best. Okay, I'm sure that looks a little crazy. <laughs> Let me go in there and diffuse that. Okay, so there's the bronzing. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Physician's Formula Butter Blush. It's another somewhat older product I have, but again, their butter products have this really awesome tropical smell and it still smells great. So I'm gonna keep using it as long as it still smells great. <laughs> and I also, I like to put my blush back here rather than across the apples of my cheeks. I guess it's in a way I'm kind of extending the, the contour, but that's just the way I like to do my blush. <laughs> and then next we can highlight, and I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills. And these are the colors. I think I'm gonna actually try Orion, this blue highlighter. Hopefully it won't be too crazy. Okay, that's not too blue, that's rather pretty. Okay, what do we do next? I guess I need my eyebrows. And I'm going to use this KVD Roxy Purple. Wow, precision is not my strong suit today. <laughs> I think my eyebrows are distant cousins today. <sighs> I really need to reshape them. They're getting pretty thick again. <laughs> Next is eyelashes, and I am using this Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara, which I do really like, but it is getting old, and I probably really need to get rid of it. <laughs> And then we're gonna do some of my favorite Amazon magnetic lashes. I 
I am so bad at liquid liner. Plus, I have such hooded eyes, I have to be super careful I don't open my eyes the wrong way. Or I'll just transfer this stuff everywhere. <laughs> So there's our lashes. So I've been on this anime kick on Netflix lately and, and I go through phases with this where I'll watch a ton of anime and then I won't for a long time and then I'll watch a, watch a bunch more and <laughs> because of this like every time I would find a show that was interesting I'd be like ooh what's this one about and I'd click on it and it would say you know start on episode do you want to start episode three do you want to start episode five and I'd be like I don't remember watching the first few episodes of this but I did obviously <laughs> you know like once I'd start watching it, I'd be like oh yeah <laughs> it's just funny how I'm rediscovering these shows I had started and then what as that you know phase went away I forgot about and then here I am again going oh that sounds so cool <laughs> so what, what are uh, you guys watching right now? Anything interesting on Netflix, on uh, Amazon Prime? I think what else do I have? Shudder? Anything interesting on Shudder that I should be looking at? But our final step. I think it's our final step. I think we're, th we're almost there. <laughs> I have this NYX Soft Matte Metallic Lip Cream. I have n no idea if I chose a good color. I just grabbed one. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty. I think that that goes fairly well with this eye look. Okay, so I, I think I think that's it. I think we are done with today's uh, get ready with me. <laughs> get ready for what? You're probably asking. Oh, you know, just film some more videos. <laughs> Did you think I was actually going to leave the house? <laughs> uh, I think we already talked about that. <laughs> but let me know what you guys thought of this more chatty get ready get ready with me sort of thing rather than just my usual trying for the first time sort of thing uh, let me know how i did <laughs> was i too chatty was i not chatty enough uh, let me know <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and i hope everyone is just having a wonderful day and if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't enjoy the video, you can give it a thumbs down, but please leave me some constructive criticism in the comments below so that I can improve. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we are living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye!